Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about coding in the DOS. What is coding? Coding is about applying codes or labels to a selected section of a text that we call excerpt to give it a meaning. Now, the code can be a word or a short sentence and can be based on scientific articles, theories, concepts, keywords, questions and variables, or our own intuition. This type of code is called a priori code because it is defined in advance. Now, codes also can emerge during reading the transcript or viewing the media without any presumption. This type of code is called grounded code. To know more, you can check my video about qualitative data analysis and coding. Now, let's start with an example. I have a transcript. This is an interview with a student about online learning experience. Now, the first thing is I want to assign a code based on a question. The question is, what has your online learning experience been like as a student? Now the answer, better than I thought, we have managed to finish this term on time. Professors have been helpful and understanding during this situation. Now I can give it a code called positive online learning experience and I can also assign a code called negative online learning experience and based on the answer I will choose the appropriate code. How to do it in the do's? I'll go to the home tab and in the codes panel click the plus button add root code. Within the title I'll add the name of the code, which is Positive Online Learning Experience, and click Submit. I'll add the second code plus Negative Online Learning Experience, and click now, those two codes were manually added. To assign those codes to excerpt, I need to have media. To load the media, I can go to the media panel. I can see that I have one document. To upload another one, I'll click the plus button. And since this is a text, a Word document, I'll click import text. I'll choose the file and click open. The file will be uploaded and I'll click OK, OK. Now, to be able to view the file and link it to the code, I can either double click on the file here from the media panel or I can go to the media tab and double click the file. To assign the code, I read the answer and select the appropriate section. One tip about the selection is to select the appropriate part of text that explain the code and omit unnecessary information. Now for me, This part is all useful. I'll select it all. And to assign the code, I double click on positive online learning experience. The link will appear here in the selection info. And I can see a square bracket with a highlighted text. Another way to add code is in the codes panel here i will read the other question what did you like about online learning now here i'm asking about like so i'll create a code that is called online learning like i'll click the plus button and type the name online learning between brackets like Click Submit. 
Now I'll read the answer to see how can I assign the code to the X. What I like is that teaching videos are always available. Everything is from the comfort of my home. I can have a snack during the lesson to get energy. Now, from the answer, I can see availability and comfort. So, availability and comfort are new codes, child codes to the online learning lab. How can I create a child code to a parent code? I'll go to the online learning like, click a plus button, add child code, and then add availability, submit, and also plus comfort, submit. Now I can see an arrow next to online learning like, and once I clicked, I can see the child codes within the parent code. I will select the appropriate text and double click on availability. I will select the text that is related to comfort. And another way to assign the code is to click the space bar a code widget will appear, the quick code widget. With this quick code widget, I can expand it. I can move it. And I can see the codes created. Now, to apply the appropriate code to the text, I can either search for it or click on it and then hit enter. and the code is applied. Click and enter or double click will apply the code to the text. Now for the question, what you did not like about online learning, I'll add a new code. To add this code, I'll click the plus button and write online learning between brackets, the slides. And then submit. I'll read the answer. What I did not like is not being able to speak with an instructor, like in face to face, to ask questions and receive feedback. And if we send an email or message, we have to wait to get a reply. And so when I'm working on my assignment, I need to stop and wait for a response for clarification before continuing my work. Now, within this slide, if I need to edit the name, I'll go to settings and I'll delete the S and then click submit again to edit the name. Now, within the dislike, I have new child codes for example, related to lack of communication. To add this code, I can, I will show you a new method. I will select the appropriate text. And then I'll click in the quick code widget, lack of communication, and then hit enter. The code an excerpt is created. But here, lack of communication, as you can see, is a parent code. I need it to be a child code to online learning dislike. All I have to do is click on it and then drag it to online learning dislike. And so, I click the arrow button and you can see that it is now a child code to online learning dislike. And if we sent an email or message, we have to wait to get a reply. Okay, now here, he is talking about waiting time. I'll add the code. Click the plus button next to online learning dislike. Waiting time. 
and click submit. For the fourth question, in the future, if you are given the choice to do more online learning, would you go for it or not and why? Now, from the question, I can see that I have the keyword choice for online learning. I can add it to the code. I'll click the plus button here and write the name choice for online learning and click submit. And then uh, add a child code called yes. Mm -hmm. Another code, but now I'll click the plus to add root code. I'll tell you why. No. Submit. Now, as you can see, no is a parent code. I want it to be a child code to choose for online learning. Another method to do it is go to the settings and click on reparent and choose choice for online learning and submit. And then submit again. Now I have within choice, yes and no. Now I'll read the answer. In the future, I prefer that same course can be blended. So the student gave me an answer which is neither yes or no, but blended. This is a code that emerged during reading. So I'll click add child code and add the third option, blended. And then click submit. And I'll highlight the text, and then double click on blended. Now, if I want to extend the text so that all the section will have the code blended, what can I do? First, I need to make sure that it is highlighted in this yellowish green. I'll click outside. It's not highlighted anymore in yellowish green. To be highlighted in yellowish green, I'll click the square bracket. Now it is highlighted. I'll go to home and then right click and choose set excerpt end and all the excerpt will be selected and assigned to blended learning. I'll close the quick code widget. Now I will show you the icons above the code tree. This is the search code where I can search for a specific code. For example, I want to search for waiting time, it will appear in the box. Next, I have the show settings panel. Automatic upcoding automatically attach parent codes when it is turned on. Sort alphabetically, sort the code in alphabetical order when it is turned on. I click on and you will see that codes are sorted in alphabetical order from C to P. Now, I'll turn it off. Code counts will toggle whether you can see the row code counts in the code tree. I'll go and choose child sum code count to view all the codes attributed within also the child code. And now I can see that I have online learning this slide, one for lack of communication, but zero for waiting time. Why it is zero? Because I didn't link the code for 
waiting time to the expert. So I will highlight it. And then double click on waiting time. Now it is one, zero for negative online learning, two for choices for online learning. I have one for blended learning. Now why it is two? Because the code is applied for choice for online learning and for blended learning, and the sum is two. So as for online learning dislike, the code is for online learning and lack of communication, and online learning and waiting time, so, so it is four. And for online learning like availability, comfort, and one for positive online learning. I'll turn it off. The color scheme by default, the color of the codes that is assigned by the dues, but I can choose to customize the code by clicking on custom. Now all the codes will be black. And to choose the code color for an appropriate code, I'll go and click the settings icon. And in the custom color option, I'll click the black color and choose another color as, for example, I'll choose this blue and click Submit. Now the blended code has the color assigned. I'll Choose the option default again. The third button is the action panel button. I can collapse and expand the code tree. Here, the code tree is collapsed. I can see only the parent codes and I can expand it to see the parent and child codes. A retroactive app code. It will apply the parent codes over any already applied chart codes. Reorder codes. It will open a new window, and this window will allow me to move codes up and down. As for example, I want to the codes post for online learning to be the last one. I go and click move to bottom of group i want the positive online learning experience be below the negative online learning experience i'll choose the move up arrow and i'll continue clicking until i reach the specified order Import codes will allow you to import the codes from a saved file. You don't have to enter the codes manually as we did. I'll talk about it later. Export codes will prompt you for a file format to download your code tree or your code book. I'll click on it and then I'll choose the type of file which is Excel. I can choose a Word document, a CSV, a QDC. I'll choose an Excel 2007 and plus, and then click Submit. The message download ready, click OK to download. I'll click OK. And the file will be downloaded. I'll click Save. Download complete. Okay, I'll show you the file. This is the spreadsheet of codes exported. The ID column is a sequential identification number that is unique for each code. The parent ID shows the parent of a child code, as for example. Blended is a child code. It has a parent ID one, which is choice for online learning. Since choice for online learning is a root code, parent code, no parent ID is given. 
and I can see that blended no and yes are child codes for this code. Death, this tells the do's at which level in a hierarchy the code exists. So the parent code has zero death. A child to the parent code has death one, as you can see for blended no and yes. And if I had a grandchild, as for example, in a blended, I have flipped classroom. I'll write it here, flipped classroom. The depth will be two. And the parent ID will be the blended, which is two. And the ID will be 13 and weighted, I'll choose false. Now for weighted, this will tell the dues if you associated a weighting or a rating system to a specific code. This could be a range from a scale where the weight minimum is the minimum value for the range of the scale and the weight maximum is the maximum value for the range of the scale. And weight default, this is the default value that will be initially assigned when the code is applied. What you can do also is you can import codes automatically from a template. I delete all the data and save the Excel file as a blank code template for the do's. Then when I have a project, I add the codes. If I've already created a code book, as for example, ID 1, parent ID null at 0, title, autonomy. Created false. ID 2, also the zero title flexibility. ID 3, I'll assign the code time, which is a child code for flexibility. Thus, parent ID is 2, that is 1, and title is time, also ID 4, parent ID is 2, and death is 1, and title is space, which is also a child code for flexibility. Another code, ID 5, parent ID 2, and death 1. Methods. Now, Methods, space, and time are child codes for flexibility. Thus, they have the parent ID too. But within methods, I have a child that is called lecture. Now, to add this child, it is a grandchild for flexibility. So, to add it, I click ID 6. Parent ID is 5. Death is two, and the title is called lecture. Methods has another child, which is demonstration. Also, death two, parent ID five, and ID seven, and all have weighted false. I'll save the file. Now, how to import this code book into the do's? Here, I'll load a new project. Manual adding project. And within the codes panel, I'll click the show action panel and choose import codes. And choose the codebook for learning file, click open. The 
file is being uploaded. I can see the codes, then the parent ID, I'll click Submit. And OK. And as you can see, autonomy and flexibility are parent codes. And within flexibility, I have time, space, and methods. And within methods, I have lecture and demonstration. Something I want to show you also, I'm going to load another project with a lot of data. Now for this project, I can filter the excerpts based on codes. How can I do it? I go to excerpts and choose codes in the column panel and choose, for example, I want the code reading by my mother. I click on it and I can also filter by type of media. I will choose text. And here I have all the excerpts related to the code reading by mother and that are of type text. I can double click on the media and then see only the specified excerpt for the code and choose next. And next. Etc. That's all for coding. Hope that this was useful. Thank you for watching.